good afternoon students the networking the theoretical portion of your syllabus we have already discussed uh, the internet w web server web client web, client, web page web browsers then uh, then blogs news group html web pages email address downloading and uploading files from remote sites okay now i am going to discuss here the internet protocols so first of all what is the meaning of protocols what the protocols are meaning of protocols these are set of rules for communication so whenever you are, you are you are transmitting the data or we are receiving the data in internet so we will have to follow some set of rules set of rules for communication and these rules set of rules are called protocols there are different protocols for internet Uh, according to your syllabus, there are some protocols are uh, mentioned in your syllabus. These are TCP/IP. There is a SMTP, POP3, HTTP, and HTTPS. So we are going to discuss that. So these are the different protocols. First one is TCP/IP. Then S SMTP, then POP three. We will we will discuss we will discuss later on data here. There is a POP three. Then there is a HTTP and HTTP S. First protocol is TCP IP. Yes, full form of TCP IP. Raise your hands. Full form of TCP IP. Nine B and nine C. But now, what is the full form of TCP/IP? Yes, madam. The transmission control protocol slash internet protocol. So it has two parts: transmission control protocol and internet protocol. So, with the help of one diagram, I am going to show you what is the what is the working of TCP/IP. So, uh, here in your screen, uh, if I want to send one file, okay, this is a one maybe a one word file. So, मेरे पास एक word की file है और maybe any drawing or maybe any spreadsheet which I want to send from One computer to another computer, okay? So मैंने इसको फाइल को भेजना है एक कंप्यूटर से दूसरे कंप्यूटर में. So one is here sender. Here is a so we we are want to send one message from sender to receiver. तो मैंने एक मैसेज भेजना है सेंडर टू रिसीवर नाउ दिस केस टीसीपी इन सेंडर कंप्यूटर विल द लीड विल आर डिवाइड द डेटा इन सच ए वे दैट देयर आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पैकेट्स क्लियर तो वो आपकी पूरी की पूरी फाइल को एक छोटे छोटे पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर देगा जिसको जिसको आप कहेंगे पैकेट्स ईच पैकेट कंटेन द आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ सेंडर एंड रिसीवर देन सीरियल नंबर ऑफ पैकेट देन डाटा तो दे these things are important in the case of any packet so each packet contain ip address of sender ip address of receiver serial number of that packet 
and the data okay so different packets are there and the ip of the work of tcp in the sender side is to divide the data into small packets then ip of sender computer will send these data these packets from one side to another side by using different path or different uh, communication media so first aapke paas packet hai us ip aapka send karega dusra aapke paas packet kisi aur location mein se jayega third packet third kisi aur location mein se then kisi aur location mein se ye sare ke sare packet is receiver ke paas pahunchenge theek hai then the IP of receiver side will receive the packet and send one confirmation report to the sender. What what is the confirmation report? Yes, I have I have received this packet. If that confirmation uh, report is not received by the sender in a uh, in a time period, so that message resend again. Okay, better. अगर आपके पास सेंडर एक इंफॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट तो नहीं मिलती एक पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड में मे बी टेन सेकेंड और मे बी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड आफ्टर दैट दैट पैकेट री सेंड अगेन क्लियर सो इट इज दर्क ऑफ आई पी एड्रेस टू रिसीव दैकेट फ्रॉम रिसीव दैकेट एंड सेंड वन कंफर्मेशन रिपोर्ट एंड दीसीपी ऑफ रिसीवर साइड will reassemble these packets and create the file so this is the complete tcp ip protocol so tcp ip two parts transmission control protocol and internet protocol we are using it in both side sender and receiver so that's why in, in we are using tcp ip and it is a secure protocol because uh, when we send the uh, packet to a particular ip address we receive confirmation report so it will not delivered that message will not be delivered to unknown person so that's why ip uh, tcp ip is a secure protocol yes any doubt in this bhumika any doubt in this beta okay next is next protocol here is pop3 and smtp beta both of these protocols are used for email theek hai to ye dono protocol hum use karte hain for email the meaning of smtp is the full form is सिंपल मेल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल तो एस एम टी पी फुल फॉर्म इज सिंपल मेल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल एंड दिस प्रोटोकॉल इज यूज फॉर फॉर ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ योर ई मेल क्लियर तो इट इज ए प्रोग्राम यूज फॉर सेंडिंग दी मैसेजेस टू अदर कंप्यूटर क्लियर वेन एवर यू आर सेंडिंग एन ई मेल फ्रॉम योर कंप्यूटर यू आर ई मेल आई डी to another email id then this protocol is used so smtp stand for simple mail transfer protocol it is a it is a set of communication guidelines that allow you uh, the software to transmit an electronic mail over internet so this is used for sending the emails that next protocol that is called pop3 pop3 stand for post office protocol 3 clear post office protocol 3 so it is used for whenever you are sending email it we when uh, your emails are saved in your computer system these emails are saved with the help of pop3 protocol so it is a one way client server protocol in which 
ईमेल इज रिसीव एंड हेल्ड ऑन ईमेल सर्वर तो जब आप ईमेल सेंड करते हो तो आपकी ईमेल ईमेल सर्वर में सेव होती है तो उसके पीछे जो सर्वर उसके पीछे जो वर्क है जो प्रोटोकॉल है दैट इज पॉप थ्री थ्री रेफर्स टू थर्ड वर्जन ठीक है ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल देर इज ए पॉप वन पॉप टू नाउ वी आर यूजिंग पॉप थ्री तो बाय यूजिंग दिस प्रोटोकॉल यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड द मेल्स पीरियडिकली फ्रॉम द सर्वर यूजिंग पॉप थ्री तो बेटा जब आप इस ईमेल्स को आप डाउनलोड भी कर सकते हो रीजन इज uh the uh, whenever you want to use any email address uh, you want to access any email so you will have to open email uh, the website of uh, email service provider for example uh take the example uh of uh, gmail if we want to uh see any email if i want to access an email i will have to log in in uh, gmail but there are some third party softwares like uh, outlook express by using this software you can uh, send receive and access the emails in your computer system without login in your email id it means this is a third party software available in your computer system you will have to install this this is a product of microsoft company and when you install this you will in just like ms word in the same way in outlook express you will see all the incoming emails all these send items theek hai so uh, i am opening outlook express here is outlook 2016 so there are some settings we will have to perform here we will have to give the server uh, information then uh, the uh, password and user id ठीक है आफ्टर दैट यू कैन असेस योर ईमेल्स विदाउट ऑनलाइन ठीक है तो आप ईमेल्स को बिना ही लॉग इन किए आप ईमेल आईडी आप असेस कर सकते हो उसके लिए आपको कौन सा सॉफ्टवेयर यूज कर रहे हो दैट इज कॉल्ड आउटलुक एक्सप्रेस एंड द प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज यूज्ड इन द केस ऑफ आउटलुक एक्सप्रेस फॉर डाउनलोडिंग योर ईमेल्स और सेविंग योर ईमेल्स इन सर्वर इज पॉप 3 next is next protocol is http so http it stands for hyper text transfer protocol whenever you open any website you type http colon slash Double slash here, then the URL of uh, website like www. Commission plus. dot com. This is the URL of a uh, school website. So here HTTP is a protocol for requesting the server for a particular service. So by using this protocol, you are making the request to the server to send this website. so here http stands for hyper text transfer protocol it is a requesting protocol for particular service now another one is https this type of protocol is used for sensitive information for example uh, banking information or insurance or social networking website here in place of http we use https clear it stands for hyper text transfer protocol secure clear and it is this, uh, mainly used in a uh, banking website like uh, www. online sbi dot com so agar aapke paas kisi bhi website ke sath http https लिखा हुआ है 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 है
इस वेबसाइट के पास डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट है व्हाट इज डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट इट इज ए वन सर्टिफिकेट इशूड बाय सर्टिफिकेशन अथॉरिटी अबाउट दी वेबसाइट की दिस वेबसाइट इज ए जनरल वेबसाइट कोल आई एम ओपनिंग वन वेबसाइट online sbi.com if i copy this url and paste in my notepad file so here is https so this protocol is means hyper text transfer protocol secure and moreover Here is a lock symbol before the URL. It indicates the digital certificate. If I if I click here, so it will give us the information about the website. ठीक है? तो हमारे पास इसकी पूरी इनफॉरमेशन आएगी इस वेबसाइट के बारे में कि ये किसकी वेबसाइट है, इस वेबसाइट को किस अप्रिमिशन कौन सी डेट तक है, ठीक है? इसका ऑफिस कहाँ पे है? Everything is there. Here is the location. Yeah, everything is there in this digital certificate. Any doubt, madam? Tripti, any doubt? Okay. Now, the difference between HTTP. And HTTPS. दोनों ही प्रोटोकॉल में जो डिफरेंस है, तो इन HTTP, it is a system for transferring information. over internet without any security okay but in the case of your https it is a system of transferring information with ssl with the ssl full form is secure socket layer in this uh, when you send your data to the server it is protected it means it is a uh, system by uh, using a ssl you can secure your data when it is saved in server moreover your data is encrypted there so it is a uh, system in which your data is uh, encrypted and no uh, the uh, during the transmission your data is safe second difference in the case of http and https in the case of http it is useful for sending non sensitive data non sensitive information means uh, that is simple that is normal koi bhi aapke isme personal information nahi hai but in the case of http uh, https it is used 
for transferring or exchanging sensitive information. Then in the sensitive information, we include uh, the information of uh, banks, uh, information of uh, social networking websites, uh, where user ID and uh, passwords are required. That's sensitive information. Next is, next difference between HTTP and HTTPS is, It is generally used for blogs, entertainment, information, and general articles. But in the case of your HTTPS, it is used for Exchanging information such as where login is required, login detail, bank detail, or payments. Okay, we include, we use HTTPS. Next is in the case of HTTP. It does not require any additional technology. For data transfer. So we just use a TCP IP. Okay, nothing else. But in the case of your HTTPS. It requires additional information, additional technologies that is SSL for encrypting your data while transmission. Okay, so these are the differences between HTTP and HTTPS. Next is So we have discussed here HTTP, then SMTP, then POP3, HTTP, and HTTPS. There is another protocol that is not given in your uh, book, that is uh, in your slippers, that is VOIP. It stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. Okay, Voice Over Internet Protocol means uh, a protocol that is uh, useful for uh, multimedia content in internet. It means whenever you are doing any video conferencing or WhatsApp video chat or audio chat, it means we are using VOIP protocol for using multimedia content in your websites. Next topic is So here we have already discussed the FTP protocol. So uh, in last lecture, this what is uh, FTP? FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is used for sending or receiving the data to or or from server. So it has two uh, activities or two processes. One is called downloading. Downloading means sending your data from client computer to server. 
and uh, downloading uploading means uh, sending your data from client computer to server and downloading means saving your data from server to client computer so there are different uh, ftp software like core ftp so it is used for file trans uh, file transfer protocol so jab bhi aapne koi website ko update karna hota hai so in place of uh, using the server we can upload update that website uh, to any client computer by using user id and password and with the help of that we can upload and download without going to the server mother any doubt here no sir okay next is uh there are some more softwares which we will discuss uh, tomorrow we will discuss sf h s f t p then s c p clear so ye hum kal discuss karenge now there are uh, services available on internet information retrieval locating sites using search engine so there is a detailed discussion about search engine okay beta search engines are used for searching any information in internet for example google so when you open the google website so here we type the searching uh, words like uh, swami sandar public school and it will it show the list of different websites that contain such information so here is a hyperlinks we can click on that any link and that particular link will appear in your screen okay so this is called search engine so search engine is a service of internet that uh, helpful uh, that uh, provide us feature to search any topic Yeah. So there are different search engines like uh, Google is here. In Yahoo website, you can also it is a it is a search engine. So Alta Vista is here again search engine. So there are different search engines available in the internet. So there are different websites that provide us this searching feature. Now in the case of uh, your search engine. I'm uh, giving you some name of names of search engines. Okay, okay. Which search engine name I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, first of all, meaning of search engine. Search engine. It is a program. that search to a database of web pages for particular information तो जब भी आप इंटरनेट में सर्च करते हो तो आपकी सर्च डेटा बेसिस में से होती है उस डेटा बेस में आपके पास डिफरेंट वेब पेजेस होते हैं उन वेब पेजेस में से जो सर्चिंग के साथ मैच करते हैं वो स्क्रीन पे तो डिस्प्ले होते हैं क्लियर सो देर आर डिफरेंट सर्च इंडियन एग्जांपल्स गूगल इज बिंग Yahoo search
of UN. So these are the different uh, search engines. So use for using these search engines, you will have to open the that side of that that particular search engine. For example, if you want to use Bing. So open the website of the Bing, Bing.com. So it is a product of Microsoft. Clear? Yeah. So here we can search in Hindi or in any other Punjabi or in any other language. After selecting the language, you will have to type for the searching word. Okay, students. Our time is over. Now I am going to close the meeting with us.